this video we're going to have a look at setting up our artboards in Adobe Illustrator for our assignments. As you can see on the assignment sheet here we've got three things to create. We've got a logo, a two-sided business card and a menu for our chosen restaurants. Okay, so we've got different sizes. We've got the actual document size, the bleed line and the safety margin. So there's three things we need to take into account for each document. It's pretty easy but it is very fiddly so let's pop over to Illustrator and get started on creating this. Okay, I'm going to make a new document today and you're going to give it the name, I'll just call it Assignment 2. And if you want to call it something else you can, I'll just call it Assignment 2 for now. The profile we want to use is Print. The number of artboards we want is just one to start with, we're going to change that in, in a moment. The size for our first artboard is the logo. And if we just duck back to Microsoft Word for a sec, we can see that the logo is the size of an A4 page, so 297 by 210 millimeters. It's also got a 3 millimeter bleed. So we can put those settings in right now. So I'm going to choose from the size A4. I'm going to make sure it's in millimeters because that makes a bit more sense to us. So there it is, 210 by 297. I think we need to switch those around, so put it into landscape format. Okay, so to switch those around quickly, just press this little button over here. Okay, so you've got 297 width, 210 for the height. Turn your bleed up to 3 millimeters for all sides. Color mode should be CMYK and your raster effects is your resolution, so it should be set to 300 pixels per inch. That means it's ready for high quality print. Once you've done that, simply press OK and you will get, I'll just zoom out a little bit there, your A4 landscape document on your page. Alrighty, so that's looking good so far. Now what we're going to do next is also put the other artboards on this page, so the business cards and also the menu. And the way we do that is bring up our artboards panel. Okay, mine's already up, but if you can't see yours, go to your window menu and select artboards. Okay, so the first one I'm just going to double click on it and give it the name logo. And then down the bottom right hand corner you can create a new artboard, and that will make artboard 2. I'm going to call that business card dash front. I'll make another one called business card dash back. And finally, I'll just make a fourth new artboard there, and it's going to be called menu. You may need to add more pages to your, to your menu, so if you do, just make sure you make a new artboard for that. Alrighty, so I'm going to zoom out now by pressing Control minus or Command minus if you're on a Mac, and you're going to see that you've got four different artboards. Okay, they're our four different documents. Okay, they're also up to the one size at the moment. We do need to resize them. The business card, if we just jump back to Microsoft Word, is 90 by 55 millimeters on each side. Okay, so what you're going to do is click this button in the right hand corner, it will let you resize the artboard. So the width will be 90 millimeters, the height will be 55. Right, when you've done that, just click on OK, and there's your business card. Same goes for artboard number three, so that's the business card back artboard. Click on the sizing options there and we're going to go to 90 by 55. We've still got that 3mm bleed around it, which is what we want, so we'll leave that. Okay, and last of all we've got the menu. It needs to be A4, but it needs to be in, well it doesn't have to be, but it can be in portrait format. So that's the other way around to what we've got here, so I'm just going to switch the orientation. If you want your menu in landscape format, that's fine. You can leave it as is, but I'm going to switch mine to that. Okay, so there's our four documents. They're a little bit spaced out. You can actually um, change how they look as well by going to Rearrange Artboards. If you want them to go across in single file, you'd click OK, and that's how they look. That's how I'm going to use mine, but just for future reference, you can rearrange the artboards and you can have them going up, up and down in all sorts of weird shapes like that. But for now, I'm just going to choose going straight across, arrange by row. Alright, so that's going to be the easiest one to work with, I think. Now, the other thing we need to put in on our documents is the safety margins. This is where it gets quite fiddly. have got to use rulers to do this. So, to bring up your rulers, a quick way to do it is press Control R or Command R if you're on the Mac, and you'll see your rulers appear around the outside of the page. Just right-click on those rulers and make sure you're working in millimetres. Okay, it's going to make a lot more sense to you. If you want, you could... No, we'll stick with millimetres. We don't need centimetres for this. It'll get confusing. 
So on our logo, our first artboard, we need a safety margin of 6.35 millimetres around all sides. So I'm going to zoom in just on the first artboard here, the logo artboard, and I'm going to drag a ruler onto my page. So you click on the middle of the ruler and simply drag it across. Once you've done that, you can right click on it. Just make sure lock guides is unchecked. If it's checked, like it is there, you won't be able to pick your ruler up and move it. So make sure that checkbox there is unchecked. That way you can pick your guide up and just move it around. Now to put your guide in the 6.35mm mark, it's simple. You just click on the guide once to select it and go up to your X value at the top in your properties and just change it to 6.35mm and press enter. Okay, so your X value 6.35, you should have your safety margin right there. So when you're designing your logo, make sure nothing goes outside the safety margin zone there. Okay, let's do one on the other side. So simply drag another ruler onto your page and the X value this time. We know our page is 297 millimeters. So what I'm going to do in the X value is simply write 297 minus 6.35. Sounds a bit weird, but when you press enter, it will put that guide into position. Okay, now these top guides, they're going to be a little bit hard. I'm going to zoom out and show you what happens when you put in a top guide. When I bring down one of these rulers, it goes across all of the pages. Okay, and we don't want that because the business cards have different sized um, safety margins than what the logo and the menu have. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is click on this guide you just brought onto your page. I'll zoom back in here and select it. Once you've selected it, change the width. Actually, we'll change the X value first. We'll change the X value to minus 3. That way it's going to start right on the edge of our bleed line just over here. That's its coordinate, minus 3, because it's 3 millimeters off our page. Now the width, okay, let's just make it 297 millimeters to start with. Okay, you can see it's just a little bit short from the edge of our page here, so you're just going to need to bump it up to 303 millimeters. And that way we've got a guide now that just stretches the width of our logo and no further. So you can see that our business cards and our menu are no longer affected by that guide. What I'm going to do is just simply click on that guide and press Control C or Command C on a Mac and then Control V to paste it or Command V to paste on a Mac and that will just paste another guide the same size on our page. You can click on that guide now. Its X value should be minus 3. Its Y value. We know our page is 210 millimeters um, in height so I'm going to write 210 minus 6.35 for the Y value, so 210 minus 6.35, press enter, and that's it. We've got our guide in place now. So these blue lines around our page are our safety margins, and they're all in position, ready to go. So create your logo inside that space. You've got plenty of room to work with. Okay, moving along now, we'll go over to our business cards. I'm going to click on the first business card in my artboard panel, and just press Control Zero to zoom in there. Let's bring out, let's make sure I'm in millimeters. Yep, we'll bring out the first ruler. We can start from scratch here. So the X value for that ruler, 6.35. Oh, actually, we're going to change that. What is it this time? It's 3.175. So it's exactly half of what we were doing on the other document. Okay, so I'll actually change that X value at the top to 3.175. That's our safety margin for this one. Drag on one more ruler. For the X value, we know our business card's 90 millimeters wide, so I'm going to write 90 minus 3.175. That's my X value. Okay, I'll just do the other one real quickly. I'm going to do the back of the business card now. So if you want, click on the back of the business card artboard, drag on a ruler, make the X value 3.175. Drag on a second ruler. X value is 90 minus 3.175. And there's our next one up. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so we can see both business cards. It's time to bring down one of the top rulers. Okay, and remember, it's going to span all the way across every document until we resize it. Okay, so let's change the width. Let's make it about 200 millimeters width to start with, and we'll see where it ends up. We'll just put the X value 
G minus three again. Okay, so it's just a little bit big. I'm just going to need to bump down the size of the width a bit to 199. So now we've got this line running straight through both of our business cards. Okay, we'll just need to make its Y value 3.175. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste that. So I'm going to click on it and press Control C, Control V to paste. And I just need to make sure its X value is minus 3 and its Y value 90 millimeters take away 3.175. Oops, that didn't work. Let's try that again. It's not 90 millimeters, it's 55 millimeters height. My bad. 55 minus 3.175. There we go. So we've got our guides in now on our business card front. If we go across, we've got our guides on our business card back as well. So anything you create, like the important information, needs to be inside those blue lines. Your background colours, though, they must go all the way out to the bleed line. So that's the red line. When you print your business cards, and the other documents for that matter, the printer will try its best to cut them along this white line. That's the trim line sometimes it will miss though okay so if it misses we'll have a little bit of extra color on the outside here just to cater for that error and also we don't want to put too much important information or no important information just inside this white space just on in between the blue and the white lines here just in case the printer chops it off by mistake okay so important information all the writing must be inside the blue rectangle background colors they go all the way out to the red lines, the bleed lines. Okay, so up to our last artboard. I'm nearly out of time on this video, so I'll try and be quick. Let's bring a ruler onto the page. Okay, and let's make its X value 6.35. We're back to the 6.35 millimeter um, safety margin on all sides. Okay, so let's bring out the other one its X value. This time it's 210 millimeters width, take away 6.35. And we get our other safety margin here. Bring down one from the top. Let's change its width to I think it's 216 from them from memory. And then the X value needs to be minus three. Okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna control C, control V to copy and paste that guide. Click on it make its X value minus 3. This time its Y value will be 297. That's the height of the page. Take away 6.35. And that's our Y value done. Okay, so zooming out now, I'll just if we can zoom out and see everything. Looks a little bit messy, a little bit confusing, but you have got all your um, guides now set up and your documents are ready to be created. All right, so just remember, I think I've got a little bit of time left in this video. Every background color or just background design, nothing too important, just the basic colors can be stretched out to the bleed line. Okay, it's really important that you do that. The white area is where you create your design, okay, but just make sure all the important stuff, so like your writing and all your text, goes inside the blue area. That's your safety margins, okay. Remember the machine may slip when it's cutting out your business cards and your menus and logos. Okay, so we can't trust it to always cut down our trim line. So that's why we have a little bit of room for error on each side. Three millimeters on the outside and a little bit more, 6.35 millimeters on the inside. Alrighty, have fun doing this assignment. Um, it's not too hard. As soon as you get your logo created, it's quite simple to do the other documents. Okay, have fun.